Okay, kind of a ceremonial kind of thing. First bag of seed being ripped open and dumped into the John Deere 8200 grain drill, which is kind of a controlled, semi-controlled spill in a straight line. Hopefully a straight line. All right, the cool thing about this is once you catch the string, you pull the string out. You capture the trash. And you dump it in. And that's what a bag of seed looks like. Now the field I'm going after is two acres. So the game plan is another bag over here. And then I take about a half bag and split it between the two. And I should have seed left over in this drill when I finish planting that field because my rate I'm shooting for is uh, about a bag and a tenth of a bag of seed to an acre. So two tenths, if I put in half bag, I don't run out in the middle of planting and I don't get ticked off and have to come back over here and get more seed. So anyhow, that's the game plan. Let's roll. 2019, April 25th. We're about to drill our first soybean seed into God's earth to produce the 2019 soybean crop here on the little farm over here in North Carolina. Everything ready to roll back there? Yep. All right, this tractor like a sailboat. See that steering wheel play? My objective is to get a straight line. This is kind of like those people got that GPS thing on their first run. They want to get a straight line and then follow that line across the rest of the field. So we're going to sail our tractor. Yeah, it's like a sailboat. We're going to sail our tractor down to that corner. And hopefully, we're going to be able to keep that wheel right on that. We're going to keep the wheel of the, of the grain drill right on the edge of the field. All right. Let's see what happens. That's where I want that. So now let's keep that right there. The throttle don't want to get where I want it. If you make a real mess, you get to going too fast. That's where I want it, right there. I hope it'll stay. So far, so good. I'm trying something different this year. Usually I run in fifth gear with a little more throttle to achieve the speed that I've got going right now. But to keep the engine noise down so I can talk, I'm in sixth gear with a whole lot less throttle. Now if I've got enough hydraulics to make my lifts at the end of the field, I'll be happy with this operation. So this is about the right speed that I want to achieve. Now, talk about spacing. Let's look here. Yeah, planter wheel's still good. I don't know whether you're seeing it. I can't turn my neck that far. But, uh, 
that side of the drill is no seed, which means there's no drop on that side of the drill. So when I turn around, I'm going to put that front tire exactly in the uh, tire mark that was left by the plant by the grain drill. I'll show you when we get turned around here. All right, pick it up. Hey, it worked. Wait. Make that tight turn. And get this tire right back on that line right there. Hey, I only got one little dooley wallow up there. Not too bad. Alright, drill in the ground and go. And the throttle messed up. Stay right there. Don't move. I see I'm just following that uh, tire mark that was left by the grain drill and I'll just stay on it and that will cause the spacing between the no seed and the no seed to actually work out right. I don't really want to take my eyes off of that because I really would like to stay on it but uh, if I look back there, you'll see that the tire for the grain drill is actually over there about where that tractor tire is at. So where we're at now, we've made one pass over there headed that way, a second pass headed that way, a third pass headed that way, and now we're on the fourth pass headed back this way. Well, it worked out pretty good. All I've got, I just finished end dressing this end of the field. And I've got to run up that side. I'm gonna have a couple of feet left that I don't plant, but I'm gonna leave it. But rows came out looking like they're gonna be pretty straight. Yeah, I think I can be pleased with that. And I've got to get across here dress this so I don't have that peaking here look. See there's an angle here and you'll end up with a peaking here look if you don't do this little end dress trick across here. And those spots that beans aren't growing in weeds will for sure get in there and be an aggravation. And this is just a little bit wider than the grain drill, but that's all right. It's on the edge of the grass. Get back in here and follow that. Get back over there. There you go. I never should have cut that extra couple of feet because it wasn't enough for a complete pass and it messes up spraying. <coughs> You'll end up with overlap, which is a waste of chemicals. And as expensive as this uh, Liberty Link chemical is, you don't want to waste this stuff. You want to calculate that stuff out to the, to the ounce to get it right. But the field up here, it curves that way, and the way I run out straight, you'll have a kind of like a peak and shear effect. So when I get up here, I'll just turn and follow it off to that corner. I've already ingressed the straight side of it, so this is going to finish it up. And I am one happy, delighted soybean farmer to be back on my early plant schedule. Yeah, I always like to get planted about the last week of April and finish up about the first week of May. All right, now we're going to turn and follow this diagonal right here. And that'll finish the 
it up right there. All right. Parking brake set. Tractor don't roll off. Now. <coughs> this pin right here keeps those drills from dropping. But uh, yeah, I think this is going to work out sweet. So I got a feeling. Yep, that's about what I wanted to do. That little bit that's left in there is pretty much what I was expecting. So <clears throat> it's a two acre field and I put uh, a bag and about a tenth of a bag to the acre. Overplanting I learned years ago is a waste of money. You don't get any more. When they get when the bean plants are jammed in there too tight, uh, they're not happy. They can't bush out. They can't flower. They just won't produce. You want to make a canopy so you can block weed growth out, but you don't want it so tight that sunlight can't uh, get down into each bean plant and cause it to flower. Because uh, the flower is your bean. Yeah, some of the university studies confirm that. <clears throat> 